What's up developers and welcome back to a new video where we will be diving into single action controllers in Laravel. You can support the channel on Patreon right now where you get benefits just as a private Discord group where you can share your coding issues and other developers will help you out. If you are interested to join, the link will be in the description down below. There might be a chance inside your web application where you need a controller that only uses one single route. You should probably create a new method inside a controller where you simply return a view. If we change our endpoint to forward slash, you'll see that we're getting a 404. And let me actually close off my debug bar. All right. This means that the page has not been found. So let's define a new controller inside the CLI. Let's say PHP artisan make me a controller called home controller. Let's hit enter and let's navigate back to Visual Studio Code. Open the controllers folder and the home controller. It's kind of overkill to define a new method right here called public function index and where we return a view to let's say index. We all know that PHP has some magic methods that you can define. We're all familiar with the most used one, which is the construct magic method. But you can also define the invoke method, which allows you to invoke an instance of a class. That instance will then treat it like a function and call it. So instead of defining the index method right here, let's delete it and let's define a new one. To do that, we simply need to start off with public function again. Then we need to add a double underscore invoke, where we will return a view to the index page. Keep in mind that you can use the invoke method just like any other method. You can define eloquent queries, logic, and way more. So whenever you want to use one single method inside a controller, I recommend you to use the invoke method like we've done right now. So let's put this in work since we do need to create the view and the route. So let's scroll down to the resources folder and let's remove the welcome.blade.php file. And inside the views folder, let's define a new file called index.blade.php. In here, let's create an h1 and let's say homepage brackets invoke or something. Save it, open the web.php file and let me add a comment where I will say that this is the route for the invoke method. Then on the line below, we need to make sure that we define the route, which can be done in the same exact way as defining a route for a resource. So let's say route, colon, colon. Well, we're going to use a get method, excuse me. The endpoint will be forward slash. Then we don't need to add an array right here because we're simply going to call the controller, which will be home controller, colon, colon, class. Save it, let's navigate back to the browser. And as you could see, home page invoke has been printed out. This was it for this short video where I showed you how you can define a controller that only serves one single route. If you do like my content and you want to see more, leave this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button.